Well, boys, I've never conducted anything like this before, but I mean, this is our first prank on the channel. I guess it's not really a prank, but at the same time it is. See how it goes. It's getting real. We're gonna go park up in the good old Hyundai here, our undercover car, but so nobody can see us. Tinted windows in the back, so cameras can be hidden. You guys are gonna get a clear shot on what's going on. So it's go time. We're gonna get set up and we're ready to roll. funny noise and I don't know where to take it to see. You guys do things like check any check anything here? Just like check engine lights. Nothing mechanically like that. Diagnostic or something? Right. What is that? That what does that mean? They'll <laughs> just they'll do everything. Try to figure out, yeah, they'll what, figure what out the what's noise wrong is. With it. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's Casey at? Um he's over there. He's over there. <laughs> I'm trying to get a diagnostics test, but they won't give me one. But now I have to find out where to go get one. Who are you? I'm Lance. Hey, Lance. Hey. Trying to get someone to do a rundown of the truck. If you look at the paint job, there's something wrong there. <laughs> and every time I try to make a turn, I think the wheels are going to fall off. And the brakes don't, I don't know if they work fully. So I just come to a slow roll at the stop sign. So I'm just trying to get someone to look at it. Just look at the engine. Yeah, I can look at the Just give me a moment. There's somebody else in the store. Are the brake pads too? Are they in the in the hood? No. Where the are they? Pads are the but you can look at the engine and just see if it's normal looking. Yeah, I got you. What would you do to cover up those marks if I wanted to paint it? Sand down the entire car first. S sand it? Sand the whole thing down. Sand it down and then you paint it with like do, do people paint it by hand or spray paint it? Imagine if I just sanded it down and painted it myself. <laughs> Don't get too close. Make sure you're in a garage. But I could definitely check out the car. Just give me a little bit. Thank you. Oh. Mm. Let me see here. <laughs> Is there a button out there to pop it? No. Oh wait, this says hood. Hold on, ready? There we go. It's a little touchy, I think. Start. What? Start it up. Oh, well you better back up if I'm gonna start it up. What if it explodes? <laughs> better cover your nose, there's a lot of smoke. You ready? Okay. I'm scared, okay. You see that smoke? Should I turn it off now? Like keep it in park? No, like hit the gas a little bit. But put it in drive? No. Oh. Keep it in park. Okay. Just hit the gas a little bit. More? Yeah. Oh god. Turn it off. There's black smoke coming out of that That's fine. thing. Oh. Drive me a diesel. Diesels and trucks always do that. They do? Well, that feels very bad for the environment. You want me to be honest with you? That's what happens when you live in a redneck area. Like this? Yes. Everyone's just polluting? Yeah, basically. Do you think that looks cool? Me personally, no. But people do. I guess. What can I tell by the engine um, in there? So I can't tell the brakes from in there. Should I get out? Let me get out. It's rude for me to sit in here. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay. He's helping me with my new car. <laughs> Lots of work, but it'll be worth it. I think so. Yeah, it is. I kicked my tires. I think they're good. Oh, sorry. I just want to make sure that I should be driving it. No, you can. You know what year this is? Um, 
maybe 1985. I don't know for sure. And this doesn't look bad. It's actually a lot more clean than you think. Right? Everything looks pretty good. Especially for a first call, you're dealing with a turbo, a diesel. You're looking at a lot of gas, a lot of fluid. Like I have to fill it all the time? Not all the time depending on how you fast you drive. That was kind of good when I started up, doesn't it? Because you're going to start turning a lot of heads. Because I'm driving it or because the car's nice? Okay, you're, <laughs> you're driving this fucking area. A bunch of redneck white people are going to end up looking your way. Because... Who's behind the wheel. Why? Because they like this, ca this car? They like, they like the car. They, they like the car. A bunch of people around here like... They like those type of girls that drive these Maybe I should stick around and drive the truck around town. As long as you like your country, man, you're good. Park it up on the side of the road and you stay in the Thank you for your help. Anytime. Just strengthen it up. That's what I'm doing, man. Every time I take a turn, um, it gets stuck somewhere. Why do I got what? Your exhaust coming out of that way. This is my brother's truck and... I was going to say your husband. No. It's your brother. This is my brother's yeah. truck. He's letting me borrow it while I'm home. You look good in your brother's and truck, y'all. Thanks. It suits me. It does suit you as well. My name's James. I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. It's all good. Where are you from? Colorado. What are you doing here? <laughs> Walking. Did you walk here from Colorado? Oh, hell no. Car's crooked. <laughs> yeah, I did that because... It looks great. It matches your curves. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had... a compliment. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I had to park crooked because um, when I turn it, it makes a funny sound and it scares me. So I just pulled in right like that. And then... Um, when I take turns, I have to make sure nobody's coming from either way because I think what's happening is the tire's too big. <laughs> so when I turn, it hits something, and so I have to turn it's into the other lane. But we have got to be the fender. Huh? Yeah, I think it's hitting the fender. The tires are good, though. Oh, the tires are... The, the wheels and the rims are smoking hot. Yeah, I think they're it's fancy. The uh, button-up fly, like your jeans, like my oh. jeans, my jeans. <laughs> I thought I'd throw that in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but they have stars on them and everything, so I think that means that they're probably nice. But I well, think the old Dodge Ram, oh, it's, it's a 250 also. At least. It's good, right? And it's turbo. Yeah. You can hear it when nice I start it up. You got some, some nice wheels. Yeah. So what are you doing? I'm Just lucky. I'm out um, just <laughs> making sure that it's okay. I went into Auto Parts Auto Zone to make sure that it was the engine looked good. Just want to make sure I'm safe. Oh yeah. I mean, I can't say it's not my parking lot to where it would be safe there. No, so. I mean, I want to make sure it's not going to blow up. <laughs> I line to work. I don't think it's going to blow up. Oh, do you work on cars? I'm an explosive engine. An explosive expert. What, is, what does that mean? So you look at the engines and see if they're like car engines? Pretty much. Look explosive. at this car engine? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. What? You want to look at this car engine? No, 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 no. Oh. Just say that's all combustible engine and they blow up. Oh. Um, you work on engines? Not anymore, no. Can you look at this engine and see if it's good? <laughs> no. Are you setting me up? Are we on camera? <laughs> no, because I just went to AutoZone for him to check the engine, but if you're an engine specialist, then oh, you can look at it. Space. Aerospace. Oh, I thought you said you were an engine specialist. No, I, because aerospace. Because it makes so much noise, so I just want to make sure that it's safe to be driving. And that nice young man over at auto parts said right. yes that it was oh. but then when you said you were an expert i thought well then maybe i should oh, get a no, second no. opinion i'm, I'm sorry hon I, I meant like lockheed uh, martin uh, aerospace fancy trucks and 
Oh, this is fancy. Oh, yeah. I, I See my tires? The wheels in, on it. Oh, it does. Kind of matches the boots. Yeah, he's letting me borrow it. <laughs> So, my brother. He's awesome. Yeah, because I don't have a car when I come home. So he gave me this one. Her name's Bettina. Oh, Christina. Bettina. Oh, Bettina. Oh, yeah, that's what he says about it. So he says it's Bettina. I'm just out doing nothing. Maybe you could give me a ride to uh, the store so I get some orange juice so I can have a toddy. <laughs> No, I can't give you a ride. I'm waiting for my dad. He's almost here okay. because we're going to meet and go to lunch. Awesome. And he lives that way, and I'm staying with my mom that way, so we're going to meet in the middle. Would you like my phone number? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, hey, it's, uh, it's great to hang out here and talk to somebody for real now. Yeah, I'm sorry you know. to hear about your relative. Yeah, Chrome makes it go faster, too. Yeah. <laughs> Turbo engine. Yeah. So what do you want for it? So what? How much do you want for it? How much do I want for it? What would I want for it? I would sell this truck. You want cash? Yeah. Uh, Let me think about how much I would sell for it. I would sell this truck for... Your brother's going to kill you if you sell his truck? No. Really? Well, you're you're going to sell your brother's truck? Is this what I'm doing here? Really? I need money to get back to Los Angeles. So let's think about okay, it. Hey, I would I sell this Vegas. for, let me get a good price. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you what I would sell it for and you tell me license. if you would buy it. I, I know, I but I'm just license, gonna, doll. I'm gonna spitball here. I'd sell it for 56,000. 56,000? Yeah. Do you think someone Shut would buy it? front door. Is that high or low? Oh, that is way, 56,000? It's a, it's, um, I think a, a classic. Maybe, but not, maybe but look at these tires. These tires and these rims. And I think I think that well, see what's in the hood. my brother <laughs> is really good with cars. So I think the paint oh, jobs probably um, I'm guessing that because he's good with cars, he would have painted it. But since he didn't paint it, I'm thinking right. that the paint job is actually specialized. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's actually, yeah, I think, do you know what I mean? Like, it's probably really uh, original. So someone would pay a lot of money for it because they couldn't get this if they tried. Because it's like tie-dye in there. Because he would have painted it. I just know he would have painted it. Right, and you can't buy oxidation, I don't think. No, it's uh, oxidation. (laughs) It's uh, from Mother Earth. Right. So I think it's a 19. Not, <laughs> it's I think it's a 19. Uh, 87. 87. Sale, well, if I get a good price, it might be. <laughs> I, t- I got all the time in the world to talk about it, you know. But it's, uh, well, I have to. I have to figure out if I'm meeting my dad here or exhaust, at the restaurant. The yeah, Pennsylvania thing. The exhaust? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that something was wrong, but the guy at Auto Advanced Auto Parts told me that well, nothing was wrong. Your business. I'm going to the store now. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. I was just That's pulling really over to make a phone call up. Nice talking to you and good luck on your journey. Hmm. You look like you're on a journey. You're a man on a journey. What? Yeah, I live right over there. Oh. Good luck. Oh, cool. That's cool. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Hi, Dad. Where am I meeting you for lunch? How was that? What on earth? I just wanted to talk about the truck, and then he commented on the buttons of my jeans. (laughs) Also, he asked me for a ride to go get orange juice to make a hot toddy. You don't put orange juice in a hot toddy. <laughs> the AutoZone person was uh, helpful to us. The other guy felt like he... It was just weird. Was weird, but he also came out of nowhere and then completely <laughs> evaporated. So I don't even know if that really happened.